Hey guys, and welcome back to the Wizard 101 walkthrough series. Episode 105 or 6, I, I can't remember because the last time I recorded it, I recorded multiple episodes at once. So I, uh, I don't remember. But this time, we're going to be going and taking, uh, finishing up the Science Center. Um, we were pretty close from what I remember the last time around. It's been a while since I recorded. It's been about... Uh, man, I just missed that scrap iron there. I, I totally want to pick that up. Um, uh, was about a week and a week ago because this weekend I couldn't record, like I said, in the Diablo episode that came out yesterday. And ooh, a wooden chest. Don't mind if I do. Thank you very much. Not that much gold, though. All right. Anyways, but yeah, um, if you guys remember, of course, it was, yeah, I talked about it yesterday in the Diablo episode as to why I didn't record anything over this weekend. Um, you guys want to uh, find that out? Um, I'm just watching that video because it was a lot of fun. Recorded a, about four episodes of Diablo, so I mean, that's enough to cover four weeks there. Pretty fun. Um, season six, I found out, is ending soon. So what I might have to do is I might have to, and there's a bit of lag going on. I might have to, I want that sandstone. What I might have to do is actually record even more Diablo just because the, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want the season to end before we finish it. You examine this hydraulic channeler. It uses the type of fuses installed in the water matons. Ah, I hate water matons. Water maton, water maton, I hate you so much. You, you caused me to rage so much last time. What deck did I have? I have the right deck, so let's do this. Let's go water maton. Well, got an Aquabot now, but as you guys remember, we were raging quite hard the last time around in it, um, seeing as how these things are a pain to get from them. And yeah, um, it was not fun whatsoever. To take these guys out. And yeah, it was very annoying. Um, but I don't think they'll be too hard to take out. Oh, there is a new series coming out later today. It's going to be a daily series. Um, with every other video I have, I got the game yesterday, installed it. I actually didn't know that I could play it yesterday until today until yesterday well when i after like it was um before i was like going to bed i was like oh you i got an email saying like oh you got you can if you pre this is this game is in your steam wish list if you buy it now you can play and i'll like well all right well i'll buy it and install it and we just crit there so this would kill both of them great hopefully we get one of the things from them um but yeah it's called song of the deep and it is a extremely, extremely dumbfound foul. I don't really care about that. Why am I lagging so much in this right now? I okay, I'm not lagging anymore. I don't know why I was lagging up there. Um, but yeah, the game is extremely, extremely beautiful, and I cannot wait to play it and so you guys can see it. The music in it is fantastic. Like, the company that was making the game did a brilliant job with it. I started it up yesterday, um, just to see it for, like, I didn't play any of it. Um, just to see it, and oh my god, I was blown away by the beauty of the game. And I totally cannot wait to play it for you guys today. And it's not that expensive either on Steam, so if you guys want a new game, 10 out of 10 would totally recommend playing that game. Um, it's a adventure puzzle game. It's really fun really beautiful i cannot wait to, for you guys to see the video that comes out later today um i'm probably gonna play like an hour's worth of it because i really really want to play that game and it's beautiful oh and also you can get a new oh we crit again what's up with these crits i love it i'm not complaining about it but i do love this um in hearthstone you can get a new uh hero portrait for the warlock not warlock uh shaman we got the last thing that we needed for the shaman actually not bad 
What's our resistance? Resistance add. Okay, let's see this. Let's two are the same. You know what? Let's do it. Let's equip this now. Because why not? This will Yeah, my minus five, but but of course the power pit. 97% power pit chance. So we shouldn't we should get a power pit every time now, I hope. Toss these things in and get on with the uh, quest line here. You install the fuses into the hydraulic channeler, but the power is still only half what it should be. You should also check the hydraulic channeler on the far side of the reactor. Well, that's where we're gonna go now. I do like these pillars here. I like that electricity coming off them. It looks really cool. Um, but yeah, you, the new portrait is Murgle. Um, he's pretty cool. Um, and if you guys want to get him, I will put a link down below in... Actually, you know what? I, I might just make a separate video for that, so never mind about that. But yeah, you guys can get it. If you guys want to know about it, go to the Blizzard we uh, uh, Hearthstone uh, website and go to News there, and you guys can see there. We examine the hydraulic channeler, but realize it needs a new set of fuses like those used by the Aquabots. Okay, now we have to fight Aquabots. Lucky for us, there are tons of these guys around. What's our health up? That's our health now. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Oh, right, we'll dear night. And do this, get rid of this, get rid of one of these, and do this. Um, but yeah, that. So yeah, I'll, I'll do a separate video on that later today. I think that one might come out for the Song of the Deep. But yeah, Song of the. Oh my god, it's, I can't, like. At first, I was like, oh, this game doesn't look fun. And, uh, when I saw it in, uh, in GameStop. I was like, oh, it doesn't look fun, and then I was like, oh my god, this game is so beautiful, and I cannot wait to play it, and yeah, it's just amazing. So yeah, you guys will see that a little later today, and like I said, I cannot wait to play it. I don't know why, but I feel like the game is lagging a little bit. We have two friends on. Oh, and if you guys want to... Help me with waterworks. We got only one fuse out of that, really. With waterworks, I am planning on doing waterworks this Friday. Um, I'll make a video about it on Thursday, letting you guys know when I will be planning on doing it. So if any of you do want to join me, there's a heads up for you as to um, when you guys to look forward to that. Should be fun. I'm going to... I'm gonna record Waterworks once, and then I'll probably do it an extra few times if you got with whoever wants to do it, of course. Hopefully, get at least some of the uh, the uh, pieces of gear that we need for death, because that would be sick to have. The death gear is insane. Well, Waterworks gear for level 60 is insane in general, but yeah. What? That didn't take him out. Okay, well. The, the game is being a bit laggy today. I don't know why. Um, yeah, I have no clue why. No way to check your ping. Usually in many games like this, ping. No, okay, that doesn't work. Bash ping. No, nah, okay, I guess you can't see your ping in this game. I know in a lot of other, like, MOBAs that if you put um, dash ping um, or slash ping, it will show you your ping. But I guess you can't really see that in Wizard, which is okay. Um, I don't think I needed to even do that. The overtime should kill these guys. Let's see how much damage the overtime will do. I think it should kill them. Okay, that one, that one, okay never mind. I guess it won't take them out. Next turn it will. All right. Well, great. That's how that did not take him out. Not hoping it would. At least one of them. Fire shard. I do like that spell. I don't know. I like the colors in it. 
Uh, wow, he was left on two health. It does two, two, two right now. So it dealt an extra 220 damage. And this guy, I don't know, is done too. There we go. What? Are you kidding me? We didn't get a single one? Well, then, I guess we're gonna have to go in and fight again. Well, we get one free turn to set up, which is awesome. Yeah, well, we got one free turn. That's it. These guys do walk actually a bit faster than some other mobs in the game. Even though they are fish. In a robot suit. Alright, I am gonna do this, get rid of this, get rid of this, power this up. What? This. Okay, we're gonna do this and now hit. Hopefully this will be enough to take. After this, I hope it will be enough to take him out with one hit. We have 55. We have 15 plus 45. So it pops a blade, I think, and then it adds the bubble. I think that's how the damage works. Or might go, but what, 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 what just happened there? Um, you guys didn't say anything. Please don't crit. Alright, that would have been terrifying if he crit. Not gonna lie, that would have been very terrifying if he crit. Okay. So, if you guys didn't know, on monitors you can change um, like the modes in it. My primary mod, I have two monitors, and on my second monitor I can see what I'm recording, and the game looks totally different because I have it set up to theater mode, because that's the monitor I used to watch movies and TV shows, and like just watch anything like YouTube or anything like that. And the other one is for game, and it looks completely different. The colors look so much more saturated. You guys know what saturated means. It just means they're more bright, much more brighter than what the game is intended to be. Um, I do like though the game colors a bit more because the saturated colors um, aren't. I mean, they're. I like saturated the saturation, but yeah, to an extent. You install the second set of fuses into the hydraulic channeler, restoring the telluric flow to the gate control. Now you can use the gate control to get access into the crystal reactor. All right, let's head down to the crystal reactor room. Who's this? Where are we going now? I actually don't know where this leads. It doesn't look like we can get down from here. No, but this is where the lounging lizard is on the map. It is right here. There you go. Now you guys know where he is. And don't worry, I will, once we're done with Celestia, I will show you where they all are also. So yeah, we're gonna finish the Science Center. Then we have the Crustacean Empire, the Solarium, and then the District of the... No, we already did District of the Stars. And then we have, I don't remember what the final dungeon is called. But yeah, we have the final dungeon to do. Alright, so... It's gonna be a bit longer before we can get into the main reactor room by the looks of it. Excuse me. Okay, let's see what we have to fight in here. Is it a boss? No! Alright, well they pulled me. Bean vaults, I hate them. Tell me where we're going first. Okay, I thought the game crashed. They completely froze there for a second. Um, yeah, something's up with the wizard server today, by the looks of it. The Steam tro Trolley? What is his name? Prowler? Isn't gonna be... Uh, well, at least it wasn't on himself, so we can take him out faster, and then we can deal with him on his own. I think I am just going to swing with a Deer Knight this turn. I'm not going to blade up just yet. Can do this, though, and get rid of this, get rid of this, and swing with Deer Knight. Just so we can get that initial damage out on the life. So we can't set up any more Death Shields. Because that was too cool. Ah, are you kidding me? I hate them so much. 
They're some of the most annoyingest things ever to fight. Seriously. Hey, okay, well, dear knight. At least you'll break through it really easily. So that guy can use elemental blades and elemental traps. So, like, no damage to these. Well, now we can set up. Um, I'll actually keep that second gear in hand for now. Let's blade up while we can. So I can hit with a more, much more, much more, much more stronger gear knight and take them out, maybe. This is a bit of a pain, but we are gonna finish the time center in this episode. Um, yeah. That we're definitely gonna do. We haven't really been hit yet. How are you up? Might as well refresh and amplify here. Why not? I have nothing else to uh, use for the time being. And anyways, having an amplify is pretty good to have up. And there's a high box. That's like you should have high box. Yeah, that video was, uh, we faced a lot of these guys. Yeah. Anyways. There we go, Amplify four Roar Islands now. Alright, we can swing with Dare Knight, and hopefully we can take them out. What are you doing? What are you using? Please don't tell me you're using- Okay, you fizzled whatever you're gonna do. Please don't use anything on yourselves. Um... Okay, well, it's life, so it's centaur. That's okay, I don't mind that, I don't have to deal with it. Shouldn't be too hard. Yeah, I mean, centaur, centaur is a pretty cool spell. And all, but... You know. Oh, and today they, um, if you go to serubi.net, Korokoro released some new Pokemon, and, so, and one of those Pokemon... I don't know how to pronounce the name, because that's not what the... That's, it's going by the Japanese name still, but it looks freaking awesome. It's like a ghost version of a Pikachu. It's a ghost fairy type, and it looks so sick. I totally cannot use it. It looks weird anyway, but I totally cannot wait to use them in the game. And Lily's using a blade. You're a bit, you're a bit delayed today, Lily, but I do appreciate that blade. Uh, pretty bad hat. You throw the switch and can immediately hear the gate unlock. At the entrance to the crystal reactor. All right, let's head into the cre crystal reactor room and finish and start the. I think we needed to start the generator in it. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think so. All right, come on, come on. There we go. Who you be? You not welcome down here. My fish bot's weak, but my glump no weak. My glump strong. My glump. My glump is his name. All right, let's switch decks and take out this dude. All right, uh, pop the lock. My last potion heal up all the way. Is there? Actually, I can't tell if there is. Do we? Yeah, there is a zodiac tome in here. Sweet. All right, not much health. Pretty good. Nothing. Useful in my hand straight away. I keep forgetting to take those things out of my deck. Alright, I am gonna definitely do this though first, just so he can uh, soak up whatever he's about to throw at us here. Because you guys do know it's gonna be something big. Alright, now let's see what he's doing. Really? Really? Well, at least we're gonna soak up the majority of this, uh, this damage here, so. Might as well. And I did find a mic, guys. I did find a mic that I'm going to be getting. And the game just froze for a second again. I do not know what's up with the servers today. But the servers on my end are working fine. Where's all my deer knights? I'm going to use another tower shield. But yeah, I did find a mic, but it's going to be until not until maybe next month that I get it. So... I might just have to live stream with the one I have now. 
because I do really want to do some start some live streaming. Um, oh wow, okay, I'm really happy I had that tower shield up because he just crit. Um, but yeah, it's uh, Blue Yeti Mike. Um, uh, for those of you that know Mike's, that's kind of like one of the best brands for uh, Mike to record with. Alright, monster him. Get rid of this, get rid of this. Let's use this first. I could have hit here and probably taken. Well, mm, nah, the minion wouldn't have been taken out. Aquabot would have not been taken out. It would have come close, but yeah, at least it's not a uh, aqua mallet or whatever water mallet, dude. Okay, so we got power shield. I do want to keep that. All right, I'm gonna hit with Deer Knight now, so we can have the minion taken out a bit faster. The overtime will take out the minion. We won't have to worry about him, and then we can use Ray on the boss. Wait, did I delete Ray? Sometimes I just delete spells that I don't think I would need, but then I end up needing them. Um, please tell me I didn't delete him. Lily, thank you for coming through with the blade. It's always nice of Lily. Yep, this guy's done next turn. Fizzle, whatever you're doing. Fizzle, 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 fizzle. Yes. The faster you say fizzle, the faster they, the uh, more likely they are to fizzle, guys. Fact. It's fact. It's true. Okay, so, ooh, we can use Skeleton Dragon instead of Wraith. And I do like that a bit more. I'm gonna do this because I'm pretty sure the... Um... McGlock or whatever his name is, he's gonna hate us here. McGlump. Yeah, McGlump. Alright, let's see. No, you're not gonna hit us here. Okay, that's fine, that's fine, don't mind. Wow, we did not get a power pip. We have 3% chance not to get a power pip anymore, and we didn't get a power pip here. Wow. That's insane. Okay, so... What are you doing? Really happy I have that tower shield up now. Very, 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 very 100% totally happy that we have that up. Now this should do... Yeah, okay. Well, he's doing... That would have been a lot more damage without the tower shield. Let me tell you guys that for a fact. Alright, so we can do this now. Tower shield because we got that stupid regular pip. And then we can hit with skeleton uh, dragon swing. Come on, dragon. It won't take him out because you guys know skeleton dragon, the overtime is what does the real damage on him. But, 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 if we can crit, might kill. No crit. Alright. If we crit, that might have been like 2k or something. What happened to all the crits, though, that we had? We had so many crits in the early game. Yeah, 778. It's a ridiculous amount that it does. They're ridiculous, but I love that amount it does. And we're going to even boost it even more now. Since I have a tower shield up. To 1,048. 1,048 was the damage there. Was the total. And the overtime might actually kill here. I am going to just use Sager here to heal. This might actually get us back to full health now. And no, he's very close to being done though. And we should take absorb. Yeah, this is gonna be like nothing. Unless he crits. No crit for him. Which is always good. Alright, let's see. 221. I'm gonna say around 200. 3 health. Alright, here. We're just gonna want hit him. He has 3 health. Come on, Skeleton Dragon, you could have done an extra 3 damage to him. What's up today? We got 2 health, 3 health, but we couldn't get a 1 health. As Maglove is defeated, he drops a piece of the portal to the Solarium. 
We got his hood. And some sandstone. Um, there's this chest. I think I should have some crones so we can throw in it. Sure, why not? Okay, that was kind of pointless. We got a crab lamp, though, which I actually don't mind. Silver trumpet's pretty good. Um, crab lamp. I actually want to see this. Furniture. Oh, cool. He drops these things. I actually really like these lamps. They're really cool looking. Grab the zodiac. It looks like it's a phoenix. A phoenix is the flame that cannot die. A beacon of extinction and a fiery renewal. It is the sign of hope in the darkness. Vigor where fatigue has set in. It is a rallying sign. Well, the phoenix is a rallying sign. What's up with these crystals? They're spinning extremely fast. I guess that's what generates power in here. Pretty cool little room. We'll admit that. I do really like those crystals that spin. Alright, let's go tell in Engineer Montgomery that we... Defeated Maglum. And that we're done with the sign. Oh, jeez. What was that? Oh. Check that out, guys. The pillars changed. From electricity into being... I guess that's also electricity going through them. They look even cooler now. I really like that. That sound though scared me. I thought something was spawning. Anyways, uh, Montgomery, we're coming, coming. Uh, crystal reactor, the uh, arbor, arboretum, the armored burrito. All right, so Montgomery. There's a wooden chest that we're gonna grab first. If you guys remember, you can steal their little campfire over here, but for the time being, they still need it because uh, I guess it gets the dark here. But now the power's back, feel a lot more comfortable taking it away from them. Little creature, eh? I wonder who or what set him up to such deviltry. I cannot thank you enough for what you've accomplished here, and in such a short time. Now that you've got what you're after, I assume you'll be on your way back to Celestia Base Camp. You can now restore the portal with those and pass along my greetings to Miss Benchley, will ya? Sure. And let's go back to the Celestia Base Camp. We finished with the science center, like I said that we would do today, and we can restore the portal finally. Do it. The pieces of the portal snap into place as if they had never been missing. All right, let's check out Edith, Ben, Benchley, Miss Benchley. Looks as if your trip met with success. Yep, we got the final piece. I am thrilled beyond measure. You've accomplished what we couldn't. The solarium is almost open to you. Oh, I guess it wasn't the last piece. Um, that's a pretty cool little dagger that she gave us, but I'd rather keep the one with the more power fit. Go on, go on. You may be the first living being to have set foot in that ancient place. Oh, that is the last piece for the solarium. Anyways, guys. We finished it. Oh, and that's the new mount that they added to the game. It looks really cool. It's like a constellation horse. And there's a new pet in there. I mean, I would have gotten the mount, but... I don't, it's a bit expensive for a mount. Maybe later. Maybe at one point I'll get it. it. Looks pretty cool. And then there's a new pet in here, the Black Panther, which gives a black cat. Which... I don't really care for that much for it. I have a black cat pet already. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of the wait what what where are we going why are we going in here okay i guess we have to go into the crustacean empire empire i guess we i guess the picture was a bit wrong there hmm. bit of a little glitch in the quest there um but yeah we need one more piece by the looks well no we don't talk to nestor what i'm really confused let's go talk to edith again really quickly that is really confusing me now entry to the solarium awaits you who knows what lies beyond that portal well 
It looks like we have to go to the Crustacean Empire first. Anyways, we're gonna do that next time around, and then we're gonna go into the Solarium. So yeah, guys, if you guys enjoyed this episode of the Wizard 101 Walkthrough series, hit that like button down below. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, subscribe for more Wizard and other games um, that I will be playing on my channel. So I will see you guys next time for something else. Alrighty, bye guys.